God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, we gather here this evening as always to thank our Lord for all the gifts that He has given to each one of us. The gift of our faith and the gift of precious life. As we celebrate the 12th Sunday in ordinary time, let us now acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern, pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who has, was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression, for if by the transgression of the one many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Thanks be It was the epic of belief. It was the epic of doubt. 
It was a season of light. It was a season of darkness. It was a season of hope. It was a winter of despair. I admit to you that I feel very similar that today's times are those that he described in that book. I have stopped watching national news on TV and reading it on the internet. I just find it so depressing, so negative, that I can't watch it anymore. How the top of the coronavirus, and now we have the things that are going on throughout the world. I find it disturbing. I find it dark. However, today's readings give me hope and light and comfort me during these times, and they also give comfort to you. In today's first reading, Jeremiah faced similar times. They had been persecuted, and nobody would listen to him because they were sinning. But he kept his eyes on God, and God also vindicated Jeremiah, and he was proven right. And in today's Gospel, our Lord reminds the apostles that they only need to stand with him and not be afraid. And if you and I stand with Christ in these times, we should not be scared or frightened either. Because like him, eternal life awaits each one of us here this evening. And the only fear we have is a spiritual death, a life separated from him and separated from Father when we turn ourselves away from God. We need to trust God. We all have moments when we question whether the Lord really knows what is going on in our lives or whether he really cares what is happening to us. And his son is a response to our doubts. And he came to show us precious we are in the eyes and the eyes of our Heavenly Father. He is also our lifeline to the Father. And St. Paul reminds us that we need grace and faith to follow him. And in the Gospel, he tells the Apostles three times, in just seven verses, do not be afraid. These are not idle words of comfort. They are God's words of hope and faith. And as long as you and I are united to him, grounded in his friendship, and we have faith in him, we are assured that we will go through dark times and see the rainbow at the end. No matter how difficult our journey of life may be. So this evening I ask you that we make a promise to ourselves. Whenever we feel the cold breath of fear on us, we will call out in prayer to God the Father, giving Him a chance to show His love to us, to show us hope. And listen to the words, do not be afraid. And walk in this world with courage and confidence, no matter how bleak it seems. Trust in God and let Him take your hand as you face the difficulties of life. And let these be the best of times, and not the worst of times. Let us reflect upon the past four months when we had maybe the opportunity to spend time with our families. Maybe we had time to sit down at dinner together instead of running here and there. Maybe now you appreciate being here this evening at Mass. Maybe when you come up later to receive the true body and blood of Christ, maybe it's very, very special that you have that opportunity. Let these be the best of times, not the worst of times. Over seven years ago, I came here to 40 hours, and I was impressed by the music. I was impressed by our pastor. And I was impressed by you. And then I asked the bishop at that time if I could come here part time with my diaconal ministry, and he approved. So I was here part time at St. Columba, part time here, and then later part time at St. Joe's. But recently I made a decision with Marie, and Marie agrees that as of July 1st, I will be here full time. Marie and I are joining Holy Angels full time. By being here full-time, I hope to get to know you better. Get to know how much you love me and I love you, and how much grief is in this church. This is a wonderful parish. I hope you realize it. 
So I will be happy to be here with you full time. And I hope to get to know each one of you a little bit better than just being here every other Sunday. And may God bless you. you.
be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of the Lord of His hands. For our Lord, for the law of the Holy Church. Receive, O oh Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you. In Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. <laughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to right agree in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and Christ our Lord. For out of compassion to the waywardness in his arms, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin by the past and passion of cross. He freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so the angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory as without end we are
Son, Jesus Christ. Today is holy sacrifice of the Mass is being offered for you, our Christians living in this season. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty and Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever.
Please stand. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our short pledge of redemption. In Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Let us pray in prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael. Mr. Alex, and our deacon, okay, 